Hello, here we are with a quick unboxing of the Sony Xperia M, one of the latest handsets to arrive in the Xperia family from Sony. If you've been following our YouTube channel, you would have already seen we've had hands-on with a pre-production model, but here we are with a final retail boxed uh, unit here. Now this is the black version, also known as the C1905. And you can see on here, we've got some of the details about the frequencies. So, uh, GSM GPRS support and uh, 3G for uh, bands 1 and 8. So fairly standard uh, packaging from Sony here. We've got Sony's xLoud technology, it's PlayStation certified, NFC, Android, Wi-Fi, 1 gigahertz dual core processor, HDR support on the 5 megapixel camera and a 4 inch screen. So let's see what you actually get in the box. Now this is more of a mid-range handset. So first things first, we get a standard micro USB to USB cable, so for charging your device from a computer or connecting it to the mains power adapter. Then we have the removable BA900 battery, and as you'll see here that this has a capacity of 1700 milliamp hours. We also get included a screen protector with screen applicator card and screen cleaning cloth. That's a handy addition there. We've then got some documentation, so a startup guide, FCC information. Then we have the three pin UK mains adapter with a USB port, so into here we'll connect the uh, provided USB cable. So this has an output of 850 milliamps um, there, so it's not the fastest charging that we've seen, uh, like a lot of the devices now that have two amp charging. Then finally we have the Xperia M itself, so this is the black colored device. So let's take a quick look around uh, the actual handset itself. So you can see the Sony logo up here, we've got the loudspeaker and we've got the front facing camera as well as a variety of uh, sensors at the top there. So the front facing camera is just VGA quality but it's good enough for uh, you know front facing pictures and uh, video calls. Then we've got the four inch touchscreen uh, display it's a resolution of 854 by 480 and it's got scratch resistant glass and of course you've got the screen protector as well. You have buttons on screen on the Xperia M so this is just uh, an expanse of black down the actual bottom here. So if I just peel that off and just show you. Um, but here we do have a notification light which uh, we'll show you when we get the device powered on. We've got a microphone just down here in the bottom corner. On the bottom we've got uh, what is the lanyard attachment and then we've got this black sort of finish. It's slightly recessed, I don't know how well that's actually picking up there. And then we've got this coming around to the soft touch back cover. On the back here we have the loudspeaker, the Xperia logo that's uh, weaved into the case that's smooth to the touch. Got the NFC logo there, so this is where you touch NFC tags. Got the Sony logo, which is actually uh, raised there, so you can feel that when you run your finger across it. Then we've got the rear-facing camera, five megapixel LED flash. It's another microphone there. This records at 720p, and we've got the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack on the top. On the side of the device, we've got a series of buttons here. We've got the OmniBalance style power button. We've got a volume up and down key, and we've actually got a dedicated camera button just here as well, which is nice to see. Around the other side, we've got the micro USB charging port there. Now to pull the back cover off, you uh, just use your fingers here and sort of pull the back away from the screen like so. And then we have the internals of the device. So we've got a, a micro SIM card slot and a micro SD card slot here. So you can actually expand the memory. You've got four gig of memory on this device out of the box, but you can put cards up to 64 gig into this uh, memory card slot to expand that memory for you. So let's install the battery. So we've popped the battery and we're gonna get this all sort of switched on now for you to actually see. So it is running Android version 4.1. You've got Bluetooth, you've got GPS, you've got your Wi-Fi on here. You're gonna have your Google Maps through um, the Google services that you've got built in. We've got that 1700 milliamp hour battery. Weighs in at 115 grams. You've got um, 24 months of warranty on here. And on top of the Android 
operating system, you've got Sony's customization. So you're gonna get um, a slightly different interface to a pure Google Android device, but you'll also get some of the additional features that Sony uh, include, most specifically their Sony Unlimited service, so music, video, etc. We'll just quickly skip through the settings here. Now we're not connected to a Wi-Fi, nor have we got a SIM card inserted. We're not gonna show you web browsing and all that on here. We'll just give you a quick run through of the software. You'll have seen um, similar Android devices, and if you want a full tour of the software, then check out our other videos of the pre-production M that we have on our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash clove technology. So you can see we've got the shortcuts on the home screen already, and we can scroll through the home screens like so. Let's see if we can pinch and zoom. Yep, we can sort of pinch there and we get the options then to customize the home screens with different widgets, different apps, different wallpapers and different themes. So the themes can be the actual coloring um, that we have on the background. So let's go with that. And then we can uh, change the wallpaper if we like. So let's just go with that flower, for example and then we can change the widget, widgets and these are interactive panels that go on the different home screens. And then as you might have noticed there, you've got a little X and a little home icon. As you go through to each one, you can tap it, the little home icon, and make that your home screen. Um, it's entirely up to you, just tap it and it goes white once that is set as your home screen. Um, but it's entirely up to you how you actually customize your screens. So taking a quick look at the applications here then. So in the applications tray, it's fairly straightforward affair with the things that you've got installed. As we mentioned, you've got the standard sort of Android things such as the Play Store, but then you've got additions such as Sony Walkman, Album, Movies, Sony Select, YouTube, you've got your contacts, You've got Sony's uh, Video Unlimited service there. You've got a movie studio. You've got Smart Connect, which uh, allows you to pre-configure things when you connect things like headphones, so to launch the music player. You've got your Google Plus, your Maps. You've got an FM radio, although you do have uh, no headphones actually in the box with this device, so you'd have to uh, add your own headphones to take advantage of the radio. You can customize the way it looks in here with your own order, alphabetical, most used or recently installed, and you can search up here um, for apps by typing in the names. We can click running apps here, and this will open up little running apps we have open. Now we haven't opened any apps, so hence there are none there. We've also got Sony uh, sort of small apps down here, so we can click this. We get a new little window, and in this instance, we've got a recorder, but we can move this around the screen and still sort of navigate behind it. So it's like a layer on top, and then we can close that, and we can add more apps on um, through the options here from the Play Store. So that's a nice little addition there. If we scroll down, we've got uh, the drop down menu here that would usually show up any notifications that we have. We've also got quick access to some of the settings, so for turning on Wi Fi, Bluetooth, sound. Let's just pop into the settings quickly. Scroll down to about the phone, just to confirm this is a C1905 running Android version 4.1.2. And let's then show you uh, the memory on here. So it's actually saying um, a total of 2.05 gig of which 1.59 gig is available. So um, unfortunately there isn't a lot of actual storage on this device, so you may need to use the micro SD card slot to take full advantage um, of that. Just quickly pop into power management here. Now at the moment we've got sort of a half charge battery giving us an estimated standby of 20 hours. We can switch on stamina mode which uh, extends the uh, battery life um, by switching off different settings and you can see we've now got one day and 16 hours. So a considerable increase by switching that on but that is an optional uh, feature that you have there. Display, you can come in and control the brightness so we could set it up to full brightness like that. You've got font uh, size and the themes again and whether the screen actually rotates because this does rotate into landscape mode. Um, you've also got uh, options around uh, the sound. You can come in here, so your notification, what sounds you, you get and whether you've got uh, Sony's XLoud enhanced or not to give you better sound from the uh, actual speaker itself. 
Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, data usage. Um, you've got your tethering options and your NFC in here uh, as well. So that's all within the settings that we, we would sort of expect. Now we'll just quickly pop into the gallery and hopefully we can just show you um, this little light on here, if you can pick this up. So it changes color based on the uh, picture that you have showing to try and kind of match the theme. So look, we've got a sunset and we've got this here. And uh, that should be able to control uh, your the colors that you have for different messages and things like that. So we can pinch and zoom on here to zoom in. The screen's not bad um, considering then we've got things like our messaging app and just to show you that it goes in landscape if we start a new message it's orientate in landscape mode and away we go so that's a quick unboxing and hands-on with the sony xperia m for a full review and further videos check out uh, youtube.com forward slash clove technology or our blog blog.clove.co.uk but until next time thanks for watching